Okay. 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 All right. I'm just going to put you guys on mute for one minute. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, your audio is working. Okay, thanks. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so it is now 7, 10 p.m. We can get started with this meeting. Uh, I don't think we need to linger much longer. Uh, thank you for joining the Environmental Protection Committee meeting this evening. My name is Debbie Timothy and I am the uh, chair of the uh, committee, the EP committee. And um, I'm going to allow everyone else to introduce yourself as normal, and we can move on. 
So, okay. Mr. Herbert, you can go ahead. Uh, yes, hi, my name is Rod Herbert, a longtime resident of Community Board 9 on Troy Avenue. And I have recently joined the board and I'm happy to be here. Thank you. And I see Ms. Westerdahl on. Khalid, you can go ahead and introduce yourself as well. Uh, Teresa, you want to go first, or all right, I I can go. My name is yeah. Khalid, my name is Khalid Jamad, community associate here at Brooklyn Community Board Nine. Um, you know we have our community fair coming up, and I got some details to share about that later on. Um, I hope everyone has a good evening and a good day. Thank you. Thank you, Khalid. Uh, Teresa, you're on for introduction. I don't know if the bishop is going to be attending the meeting. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving to another room. Hi, I'm uh, Teresa Westerdahl. I'm a community board member, uh, EP committee for two years, first as a community resident. And uh, hello, everyone. Thank you. Good evening. And thank you for your introduction. Uh, Khalid, is there anyone else on there? I don't. Um, I think we got through everybody. Okay, I I know that the bishop said that uh, she would be at the meeting. However, I don't see her, so maybe she's running late, or I don't know. Okay. Uh, you didn't hear anything, did you? No, I did not. Okay, so uh, so the meeting was called to order at seven ten, and. We're going to miss out on her words of encouragement because she's not here as yet. So we're going to move on. We do have, does everyone have the minutes for the, uh, from the last meeting? Yes. Okay. So we're going to move to um, accept the minutes and the I, I agenda. Have a I have a correction. What's the I, correction? I, I, e I emailed about it. Um, the correction <laughs> is that um, the absentee community resident member is not listed on the minutes. Is that Christine? That was, yeah, it just says NA. It doesn't have her name there. I think it's important to record that she was absent. She's been absent for several meetings, unfortunately. So, according to the still bylaws, on the committee, uh, Khalid, that you know of. Hello, yeah, this is Khalid speaking. Um, you know, we reached out to Christine multiple times, yes, and haven't had any, you know, response back. Um, uh, emails, mm -hmm. phone calls. Um, so you know, hopefully everything's all right, but maybe she's taking some time for herself. Yeah, but you know, at least you can. She can acknowledge that someone did reach out to her. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, the right been, thing to we've do. Been call, we've been calling and emailing her. So. Uh, yeah, I remember when I asked you to reach out to her. That's been a while. Yeah, that was a couple of months ago. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been doing that since then. We try to, you know, have a uh, welfare check on members that haven't been appearing to meet. And so that's something we were working on in the beginning till now. So, you know, hopefully she comes to the general board meeting or any other committee meetings. Okay. Thank you so much for that information. You're welcome. Just just as a point of clarity, um, I believe the bylaws says after three um, meetings missed, a process is supposed to go forward. And it's, I think she's missed five. And as much as I like her on the committee, I think we have to go forward yeah. with removal. So okay, we so can make that so we can have our, the, That would be up to the chair because they have the attendance records. So, I mean, we can mention that again, but I'm sure that you know they have that information because I've brought it up before. So I will... also, excuse me, Debbie, I can just say- Go um, ahead, no, go ahead. Yeah, we could, we could um, reach out, I could reach out to the chair tomorrow and just, you mm -hmm. know, update them on the attendance on the concerns of the committee. Okay, thank you so much for that. You're and right. I will also make a note of that. Uh... <laughs> Because I, 
I know that he will be making com committee assignments because this is our last meeting uh, for September. So hopefully he can take a look at all of those things and make, you know, the right um, decisions for committees and hold people accountable because attendance is very important um, in terms of, you know, com that's one of the, uh, you know, the um, commitments when you join the community board. Okay, so thank you for that. Uh, we going to, we did uh, introduction, uh, roll call, we know who's here. Um, all business, uh, the, uh, I have on there outstanding issues and updates. Um, thus far, what I know is that the uh, resolution for uh, 5G, the moratorium resolution, um, was sent to uh, OTI and all of the electeds uh, in the community. Um, and that information I received today. Uh, so the OTI deputy commissioner, the OTI senior director of Exter external affairs, um, the franchise administration executive director, um, it went to uh, Representative Clark's office, uh, Belno Marie's office, Senator, uh, Assembly Member Cunningham, uh, Mayor, Mayor's office uh, of Community Affairs, the Brooklyn Borough President office, and uh, Council Members Crystal Hudson, Rita Joseph, and Darling Mealy's office. And I think those are the names so that I think everyone is our community or electeds are all on this uh, list. So that's a good thing. Because I believe when I sent information, I um, asked that they all be, you know, um, included in the, um, on the document. So that's a good thing. So hopefully uh, we can get some feedback or the community board will get the feedback on, you know, what, what, the next steps on that one. So we will wait to hear from uh, our electeds in the um, OTI office and its uh, leadership to see where, how far, you know, what's the next steps on that uh, that matter. Um, Khalid, I asked, as I asked you before to, uh, I'm gonna have to hear what uh, Tara has to say before you join. Um, go ahead, Tara. Um, I went to, um, was asked to go to community board 14 yeah. last night mm -hmm. and, um, the, uh, OTI, I, I wasn't there in time enough to speak, mm -hmm. but they were asking about our resolution. Somebody told me and yeah. I, I attended, I went in too late, but I just wanted people to know that, um, OTI and I think Link NYC did speak to their, uh, their committee group. So mm -hmm. I'm wondering why that never happened uh, for us and how we can go about making that happen because I do know that uh, people are very interested in hearing from them. Uh, what are we gonna do? How can we do that? Do you know, should we schedule meetings with them, Debbie? For okay, so that recommendation was sent to the board as well. As I mentioned at the last meeting and the first meeting we had when we received this uh, 5G issue. Um, so, I mean, we can inquire again, but I've been, I, I, and as I mentioned at the last meeting and recommended that we have, you know, OTI, Link NYC come in to do a presentation to the board members. I believe that you know, that was a part of the discussion when I made that recommendation. Um, the chair was on the on the meet on the meeting as well. So um we can make that request again. That was my recommendation so that all of the board members were all on the same page on the issue and you know their answers if they had questions, they can get answers to the questions that they have, and then you know maybe the next step would be to include the um, community's input 
Um, so those were the things that I, you know, made a uh, request to the board. So I don't know if that can happen, but in September, I know it wouldn't happen for this month's meeting. Um, so that's a question that's up in the air. I don't know who will be chairing the next uh, uh, EPC meeting. Um, so that would be something that would have to be picked up uh, in September. Um, can we can we schedule that for September, Khalid? Meetings. I do. I don't know. I'm gonna have to reach out to the chair tomorrow. But I have it as a note for um to see if you could do that in September. Yeah, I'd like to schedule meetings with them. However, we need to do it if we need to have a hearing. If you want to do it in EP, but all the other boards seem to be having these meetings, and uh, we really do need to do that. Yeah. And Please. what was the other boards that you uh fourteen? I bet. Well, 14 had one um, last night. I went to a meeting. Queens has had one, and they've had them in Manhattan as well. Okay. So, you don't, I mean, I'll, if you want to reach I'll, out, if you want to reach out to CB14, they're, they're joining us. Um, they also had a meeting last night with, the, with the Shirley Chisholm. Um, okay, but he, that's group. not his role to reach out to CB14. <laughs> If our board wants uh, these people to come in and do a presentation, we can make that request. Um, we it's, just need to bring it to. Yeah, it's just, just a way to make it easier, you know. Just okay, like, but you're they, asking they might have to the do contact. something that he's not. It's not in his role. What we can do oh. as a uh, as a board as a board is to, you know, bring them on to do the presentation. And I believe, if I'm not, you know, misunderstood that that happened and there was nothing nothing came out of it so i don't know you know the facts about that but that's what i heard so i mean we can always make that request again hello uh, bishop and um see what happens but again i don't know who will be chairing this meeting if uh you know or for any other meeting as a matter of fact because we won't know that information until September. Uh, so maybe that's something that can be um, discussed further um, to bring them on. Um, based maybe on we can have a, a hearing this month, later this month. You're breaking Since up. It's... Oh, I'm thinking maybe we could have a special hearing this month. I, I make a motion we, that we have When you say a... we, what are you, who are you referring to? CB9, can we make okay, a, so can maybe, I make a motion? I'd like to make a motion that we um, request a meeting with OTA link um, in a special hearing. Your phone, your your, phone, your, your phone yeah. is not clear, it's breaking up. It's breaking up. Okay, I don't, I don't know, can you hear me now? I turned off the video, that might make it clear. If you have anything other connected to your Wi-Fi, if you're using that, uh, you might turn it, uh, shut it down because it could interfere with your connection. Yeah, I don't have anything else turned on. Um, can you hear me now? We can hear you. Okay. Yeah, I just make a motion that we um, request the board to have a hearing with OTI and... Um, a hearing and or a presentation? A hearing presentation, I think that we should have the community speak in different uh, different <laughs> factions. So we have not just pro 5G, like have like a hearing. I guess it's hearing, right? I'm, I'm not understanding what you're saying, um, Ms. West at all. Are you requesting that they, are you saying that we should have them come and do a presentation? On the five yeah, I, I think I think it should be like a, a he, like a hearing, you know, like a like a town hall, like we've had with say one of the developers. We had that housing developer meeting that was called Fred called suddenly with just a few days' notice. I'd like to do the same thing as soon as they can come in June before the end of the before the summer session. I'd like to do that with. OTI and Link NYC and whatever relevant organization we need. Uh, that's what I'm seeing the other community boards do. So 
Okay, I think that, that you need to put, you know, the information in a better way. I don't know. I mean, if if we if we bring them in, if we request to bring them in, which I said I've done already, um, it would be for them to come and present to the board. So who's contacted them? Anybody's nobody's contacted them? Do you know, Khalid? Did Dante contact them? Did you? Did who, okay, uh, so we need that done? The resolution came out. That's um, you know, to elected officials, OTI, and based on the moratorium that came out. Um, I'll have to follow up on the actual responses um from these organizations. So um I have no information on that currently. I'm sorry. So so but let's we, request, but we let's we request we wouldn't have any feedback on the, that moratorium as yet because it just went out from this community board. Yeah, it, it they don't really like get back. Let's we just have to schedule a meeting with them. It's that simple. Let's schedule a meeting. Yes, but I think that if you send something to someone, any agency or any elected official, you are hoping that you would get some type of response um, based on what you sent. Yeah, exactly. But we sent another letter about the crash containers um, in the in the previous EP committee, and uh, we waited for a really long time, and nobody got back to us. Nobody. We asked Dante many times, and I don't believe anybody got back to us. All those officials. So, so, so what we are going? What, this is this I'm isn't going. about them getting back to us. I'm making a motion to have a town hall, a hearing. That's what I'm making a motion for. Okay, I'm going you, to. I'm not sure that we want to make a motion to do so. I think I'm that making the, a motion. I, I'm making a motion. So you're making a motion to do what? Have a town hall with OTI, Link NYC, and all the uh, any. So who's going to be hosting this town hall? Because as I said, after June, the end of June, we are you know not going to be doing any business uh, meetings until September. Yes, I, I do realize that. So let's schedule it and, for this and, month and if we possible. Have, and if not, September. And we do have other things that, you know, people are working on. The health, the fair coming up on, and then, you know, other committees are, are, I believe, doing other things. So I don't know that, you know, it's in the best interest to for you know to talk about a town hall right now i maybe once we get feedback um or once the community board gets feedback on you know the the information that was sent out today uh or yesterday um about the moratorium um you know maybe something a town hall can be scheduled um we we've been trying to get a town hall or a meeting like this since since the summer, okay? This is we, months you, later. You're saying we, Miss Westerville. Who are you speaking about? People in the community, including because I, I, Because I haven't discussed anything. We, as a committee, haven't discussed anything about the town hall. Oh, uh, I think we did. Didn't you ask for a hearing with them? Didn't you say? I requested, I, I requested my recommendation at the last meeting was that to the chair and at the exec committee meeting was to bring in OTI and the bridge NYC to do a presentation. So that exactly, the board members, exactly. Thank so you. That the, that's that's what finish? I'm can trying I to schedule. It? Ms. Westerdale, can I finish? Thank you. To bring them in to do a presentation so that board members know what the discussion entails. And if they have questions, those questions can be answered. That was the recommendation that I made. Now, if we wanna follow up on that, we can do so and see where that goes. But that was the recommendation that I made. Excuse me. So Sorry. I'm gonna bring that, I'm gonna ask Khalid to follow up on that for me on behalf of the committee. And um, you know, let us know how what what you know the feedback is. So I'm making a motion that we do that. I ask I'm going to ask Khalid, as I just said, Miss Westerdahl, 
to follow up for us on that recommendation that was made and you know provide us with his finding. Khalid, is that okay for you to uh, take care? Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's fine. You know, any okay. requests will so be- So you can provide a committee with your findings. Thank yes. you. Okay. Please let the um, meeting minutes note reflect that I made a motion. Okay. Yep, and the meeting is recorded you. as well. All right. Uh, Reverend uh, Gonzalez, do you have any feedback on the discussion? Bishop? Mr. Herbert, go ahead if you have yeah, any. Uh, yeah, so I, I think uh, just getting back. I was having a little day, so I didn't, I didn't hear much of anything. Okay, so what, I, what we were talking about was the recommendation that I made uh, at the last meeting to have um, OTI and um, Bridge NYC come in to do a presentation for, for the board members so okay. that they, um, they can understand, the, you know, what this is, this 5G entail and, you know, have their questions answered. Answered, yes. Mm -hmm. So that, yes, yeah, so we are going to follow up on that so, because I sent it in writing and um, I haven't I, heard anything back. So I don't know where it is. So I'm yeah, asking, asking Khalid to follow up, you know, for us and get back to us. And um, I was just asking you whether you have any feedback on that. What I think that's the way to go is to let okay, them thanks. come in and let the members and other members of the community that want to get information on it, they right. would be the right people to ask. So right. that we're not being whipped every time yes. about something that we don't even know about. Exactly. You know? Exactly. I'm, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit stressful because as I shared with you, I have prices in the community. Yes. Um, I just need to make sure I'm trying to balance here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So thank you, darling. Okay, thank you. But I think it's a good idea. Okay, thank you. So we'll follow up on that. Um, Mr. Herbert, go ahead. No, I was saying, I think it's, it's a good idea to have them come in, make a presentation, and we can understand their design concepts. Exactly. And, and how they plan, or if there is a plan, on how to deploy the equipment, to turn it on, activate, and so forth. And basically mm -hmm. how the whole system works. Um, you know, one of the things that I have a question about, because I've read many papers and, mm -hmm. <laughs> and so forth, is about design, not design criteria, as well as exposure limits. For some yes. reason, I don't yeah. know if it's around, but I could not find a, a detailed document on exposure limits. Yeah. So that would be my question. Yes. I agree, because I mean, I've that would a... be mine also. I've done a lot of research. I've read many different things and I just, there are things that just, you know, you just don't, there's no answers to. Correct, yeah, right. So. What, and, and yes, what I'm finding is there's a lot of, it, the, the papers that I read, everything is sort of high level. It doesn't yes. get into the weeds. And yes. I don't think those high level documents that I've read uh, yes. really detail, uh, you know, what the concerns or problems are that we may have. Yes. So there's a lot of questions and, you know, not enough answers. And I think that if we can get them to, you know, come in and do so, uh, whether it's September or the next time we uh, meet, um, you know, uh, that would be helpful. Uh, so again, you know, I'm going to, you know, ask Lee to follow up and uh, get back to us in terms of um, what will be, you know, you know, the uh, earliest that they can, you know, come and do a presentation. I know boards usually they're out uh, during the months of uh, uh, July and August. So um, hopefully we can get that in early uh, September to um, move forward or, you know, decide how we want to um, deal with that and then include the uh, community as a whole to give uh, input, so. Well, yeah, also, if there were other community boards that did have a presentation and if it's recorded, 
it might yeah. be a good idea if we can get those recordings, we can understand what the, uh, how their conversations went or their presentation. And that'll also help us formulate other questions that mm -hmm. we might have. So we don't keep rehashing the same thing from community board to community board. You know, right. If, if yeah, well, available. that's, yeah, that's why having them in person, you know, is a good, you know, way mm -hmm. to get those, you know, the questions, the outstanding questions um, answered, you know, yeah. and then we can move forward and say, okay, well, this is what was said and, you know, how we move beyond that, we can do that as a board and, um, you know, try to move this forward. Yes. yes. Okay. So I see Mr. Almona uh, joined us. Yes, I'm here. How's everyone? I'm good. We are good. How are you? Okay, so I'm you just can, checking. You can it. introduce yourself. We are, you know, we did introductions already, but you can just go ahead and introduce yourself. Oh, okay. I'm uh, Nicholas Almono. I'm a member at Large Community Board 9, and I chair the Park Recreation and Culture Committee. I'm very much interested in what's happening to what all the committees that is in the community board. I try to drop into as many meetings as I can. Uh -huh. My main thing now is to make sure we get people for the um, community fair next yeah. Saturday. Yes. And I think one of the things we didn't push, and I would like to encourage, if each committee will be there present with a table, so people mm -hmm. could say, we'll have a sign, let's say, environmental committee, and we could get an idea of what we've been doing. So not only they're going to, so we are also a resource. So we should, each of us has a table to tell the community the kind of work we're doing. So if you have any display you can have, and I think Tara probably mm -hmm. be able to help a lot, Ms. Whisper, mm -hmm. so that's what I'm here to encourage everybody to do. Okay, so I appreciate yeah. that. Unfortunately, I will be out of the country, so. No, but you don't have to be there, but members of the of that committee should no, be there. No, well, that's why I'm, I'm just letting you know, so that they know I won't be here, so, you know. So they I know that to again. expect you, okay. Yes, well, I appreciate, you. yeah, that's I appreciate right. the information. Yeah. yeah, and also remember, remind people, June is also Caribbean Heritage Month to the yes. United States. Yes. So, you know, I'm big on that. So. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so. Thank you so much. All right, then. Thank okay, you for yeah. the opportunity. Thank maybe you. Maybe might maybe he'll be, um, Mr. Nicholas will, will stand and represent us because I also won't be there because of the crisis. Okay. Thank that you for I that told you. information. Yes. So we'll have Mr. Herbert represent all of us. Yes. <laughs> if I can do it from Georgia. Oh my than... God, I forget he was in Georgia. <laughs> oh, you need to, you need to start after... driving back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be back after that event, unfortunately. Okay, okay, we understand that, yeah. So, um, okay, so we are going to move along here. So, so wait, wait. Hello, can you hear yes, me? Yes, Ms. Westerdahl, I'm here. We are listening. Okay, so um, I really didn't have any plans to uh, to make a table by myself again this year. Ms. Westerdahl, did you reach out to the community board? I believe that's what you were instructed to do, if I recall, on the meeting. No, I, I didn't. I was waiting for us to discuss it in, in our meeting, which we're doing right now. So it seems like you... Okay, Debbie, so Mr. Almona. I, Mr. I was Mr. talking. Can I, can, I, can I please finish? Yeah, go finish? ahead. Go ahead. Um, it seems like you and yourself and um, Bishop... I hope you don't mind that I call you Bishop, but that's how I think of you. No, not a problem, baby. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, it seems like I was hoping we'd all go together, honestly. Um, but I guess you can't be there. And um, is Mr. Herbert, are you on our committee now? No, he's just joining us now today. All right. He, he doesn't know what committee he's on as yet. Maybe uh, in September he'll have that information. All righty. Well, but Mr. Almana was just on here making an announcement so you can connect with him and, um, you know, work something out. Uh, yeah, since the committee isn't, um, isn't going to do anything. Uh, can I finish, please? 
since, since the committee isn't going to do anything together, um, I'm just going to show up for a, a limited time. Do you know, I just have a question. Is the DJ going to be there like in the day or I, I noticed on the calendar, it says from 10 to one. Mm -hmm. for the fair and then I know I saw on a flyer that there was another session with a movie later on and I know we have a DJ hired so I'm just curious because honestly last year I had a very hard time speaking over the DJ to people so um is the DJ going to be there playing the whole time I, I would just like to go when I, I can talk to people because I, I don't have a very strong voice to talk over uh, amplified music. That's all. And I, I would like to go when that's not happening. Is, can you uh, tell me? Let, let me find out the information for you. My understanding the music probably will be there from, from when we start. Then, uh, because there, there, there's two me, sessions. Me yeah, no, no. Right? let me confirm. Yeah, well, what it is, uh, there are two sessions. There's the youth committee is going to be taking you know, continue at nine o'clock with games and stuff, mm -hmm. and eventually a movie. Uh, Wait, nine o'clock? I nine, thought they were. They I were don't starting. know. I don't know if they're gonna be there mm -hmm. at nine o'clock. Let me find out and I'll let you know. Okay. Yeah. I'll, the, give, the I'll fly, send you an the, email and give you an idea what the schedule look like. Okay. Yeah. The, the the flyer I saw gives like two times, right? From like, I think ten to ten to one. Okay. You're gonna have the resource fair. What it means is that by one o'clock, <laughs> most of the city agency gonna start leaving. Most of the people providing information are going to start leaving, and then there will be the, the, the fair will continue with the youth committee with, what, with the program they put together. So I'm not for sure because usually some of those um, people bring a DJ with them because the last time we have one uh, one of the health insurance agency, they are the one that contributed to the DJ. So. Uh, I, let me find out because uh, I'll let you know. Yeah, I'll we, send you an email to give you an idea how the day is going to go progress because we should all ask. Okay. Yeah, we, yeah, we did Nicholas. spend we did yeah, spend also, two thousand yeah. dollars, right? So I'm expecting a really great DJ and movie well, in the I, evening. Well, I, Ms. Westerdo, can you I can, I, connect I with Nicholas and that. he'll give you the information? Yeah, and also while we have you there, if the if if uh, I think we can combine. Um, uh, different committees, more than one table. That way, it it work easier. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to be by myself. Okay. No, no, no. So you won't be by yourself. Like, say, for example, if I have three people coming from the parks and recreation, you could join us in that table, and we say in this table we have two committees, so people can talk to everybody about what we're doing. So don't mm -hmm. worry about that. Uh, we'll work that out. Okay, so you all right? That that would be lovely. Thank you, Nicholas. Okay, Thanks. and I will get back to you regarding when the music is going to come and on, so on and so forth, give you a sense of the day. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you for that information, Ms. Almana. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we're going to, does anyone else have any other additional questions about the fair? No. Okay. So we're going to move on and um, our next item on the agenda is the uh, role of the uh, Environmental Protection Committee. I, you know, kind of um, thought about that based on the fact that, you know, I think all committees should have an idea as to what their role entail. And based on all the issues with the, that came up with the 5G and where it was before it came to this committee, you know, um, it appears as though there's a lot of, um, you know, concerns about, you know, what, you know, committee board members role is, you know, and each and in all the different areas that we as committee members, community board members represent. So I thought that maybe, you know, we can have a, you know, discussion on the role that, you know, as a committee, you know, the role that we play to represent you know, our community, our commu community residents. So I, you know, put this, added this to the agenda um, just to have, you know, an idea or to give a sense as to what my thoughts, you know, were and to see if anyone else, 
you know, had any additional ideas. Um, and then maybe we can just, you know, present this information to the board, um, you know, so that, you know, they can at least maybe combine, you know, information pertaining to the different committees and, um, you know, present it to, you know, board members. I don't know if there's some, if something like that exists already, but um, it would be good to know, you know, so that moving forward, you know, people have an idea as to, okay, I think, you know, we can give input on, let's say something that comes up with land use and, you know, there's a part of it where it might be some type of environmental issue or something. Because I think sometimes, you know, one committee may connect with another committee mm -hmm. on an issue that, because my understanding was that from several people that I've spoken to, oh, that should have been dealt with by the land use. Um, but then when you look at environmental protection, you look at the health um, and social services committee, so it's a connection of all the different committees. So, um, you know, I thought that that would be a good thing to um, speak a little on tonight. So I don't know how anyone else feel about it, but, um, you know, I'm gonna open up the floor for input ideas. You know, I don't know, you know, what your thoughts are on that, but um, I feel that it's important that we know, you know, when we join, you know, the uh, community board, what, you know, what role we play, what what is our adv advocacy role, you know. Um, so I listed on here, based on some of the research that I did, you know, um, to ensure that principal areas of safety, health and environmental risks and impacts are identified within the community and that resources services are allocated to address those issues. That was yeah, one. So, right, so I, I just have to say that it's, it's a great idea, you know, make sure that we have, understand the roles of the committee and so forth. And, but also, as I found out just listening, mm -hmm. a lot of the, as you said, the issues that come up Right, this sort of a blend between different committees, mm -hmm. right? Correct. and I'm not sure if it's proper that, or maybe too large to um, control or maintain, but have like a subcommittee that would mm -hmm. handle these type of issues, or a committee with a cross-functional committee, right? Mm -hmm. so you have a little from the safety, a little from the uh, land use committee, from right. the environmental, in order to hash out those items that right. are, you know, that, that conjoin with each other. Mm -hmm. right? that, that's what I'm familiar with, you know, having a subcommittee in order to address yeah. all of those cross-functional items. I totally agree with that. Yeah, so that way you have, you know, someone from each committee, you know, right. sitting around, you know, trying to, you know, get a sense as to what this issue entail and how to move it on to you know the board or right. the executive committee yeah so that's a good idea mm -hmm. yeah, yeah uh, Ms. Westerdahl I see your hand is up Ms. Westerdahl hi uh yeah I just wanted to speak to a real-time example of an issue that's happening in my neighborhood where you know mm -hmm. I, I talked to I brought up this this committee about the, the trees that are falling, breaking apart, and the um, they have over eleven complaints on three one one. I I I wrote to the community board about this, and nothing was really done. You know, despite the having three several complaints, I, I wrote to Crystal's office because they do seem to be helping me with a few things. And um, what happened was this tree situation, a huge branch fell over the weekend from these trees that my neighbor's been concerned about. And there's more branches up there that are gonna fall because the tree's dying. She was given a, a notice um, after this big accident. There's, there's, I sent a picture to you, Debbie. I sent a picture to Khalid. I sent a picture to Bishop about this uh, a couple of days ago. And um, so you could see the, uh, the there's police tape all around it, 
crime scene, it says on the tape, all around blocking the whole corner by, by near full gospel. And this is the area where a lot of people line up for the, uh, to get their food um, from first gospel and other services. So it's, it's kind of a big problem. And uh, I tried to reach out and um, my neighbors have as well. And they, she was given a notice they'd come within four days and today was the fourth day and nobody showed up from the parks. And it's a, it, a huge branch fell again and almost hit somebody this weekend. This is after many, many complaints over many months. So- And you said you uh, called 311? There's 11, there was 11 311 complaints the last mm -hmm. time we spoke about this, which I've brought up in this committee several times. Um, you bring it, you I don't know you how many to the community is. board. You Excuse know what me. I'm talking about? Um, to, Teresa, just clarify, you sent it to me personally, you sent it to the board. I Email. sent, I, I sent the, we talked about it quite a few times. Did you, I'm just asking, did you send it to the board or do you send it to my personal email, my business email? I don't know. I just say, I just type CB9 in the email and then. Okay, you sent it to the board because you said you sent it to me. So I just want to clarify that. I didn't receive anything from you. If it was sent to the board, that's something I have to follow up on. But, you know, I look yeah, at it's my. Not, it's not, I, 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 oh, yeah, you mean the, the um, I sent an email and I CC Debbie and the bishop and Christine and the board, you know, to, um, with a picture. And also like notes about what I wanted to uh, discuss at this meeting, what I wanted to add to the agenda. Nobody wrote back to me. Okay, so just thank you for the clarification. I'll follow. With there's that. a there's a photo plan. there's a photo in there of the. Um, Is there any the a photo you could take take of it now? Your neighbor might have that could send uh, you could send it to me. Uh, send yeah, it to I've the board office. I've got a lot of photos. Um, yeah, the most recent photo them. you could send to me, and I could uh, follow up with that um, with three one. Do you want a photo of the branch in the street? That I want a photo. I want a photo. I want a photo of all the issues. I want a photo of everything, so I could, so the team and every the organization that we reach out to has a clear picture of what the issue actually is. All right. Um, could you send me an email then, so I respond? I could send. To the... You could send it to the board. Because I'm, I can. I'll I don't know which email it. is whose. You, uh, the whole board is able to see the email, so you can send it to BK09, the regular email that you send. You can send things to. Okay. Thank okay. you, and I'll follow up with you on that. Thank you for the um. Uh, I, I see Mr. Herbert hand is up. Yes. Hi. So th this is very concerning. I'm Debbie. So if if yes. there is a tree that fell and branches fell and nine one one was called then what happens next is that an arborist should have been dispatched in order to yeah. take a look at the tree to determine if it's a hazard that has to come down, whatever mm -hmm. the case may be. Nothing is going to happen unless an arborist comes out to take a look at it. Mm -hmm. And if a 311 ticket is put in, it should state specifically that an yeah. arborist is needed in order to review the condition of the tree, mm -hmm. right? And, um, yeah. These complaints have been put in. I mean, they've been put in already. Yeah, but has like anybody it. specifically requested that to come? Yes, yes, yes. You can you can look at the you can look at the three one one report down the corner of uh, Sullivan and um, Stoddard. You could see. Mm -hmm. You could just look at the map. You could see the less. I don't know the. I just found out about this recent incident, but they. Those neighbors have had in so many complaints and somebody came and they, they were kind of put on like a, uh, there was like, there's like an A, B, C, there's different levels of how important it is to mm -hmm. take care of it. And they were given a lower level, even though you could see these branches broken and dead up in the upper, and they, they fell, they fell this weekend. Mm -hmm. That's just oh. like, I, I brought this okay. up, you know, so, I, I'll send more emails. I'll send them to Crystal's office. They seem to respond better but you know this issue they're just not coming you know it's an it's an emergency people somebody oh. could have died like it almost hit a man understood uh, it's you know Teresa. over the weekend okay mr herbert it I just already have a it broke it broke a branch uh, the, uh, the tree branches fell like maybe uh, three months ago and broke a car window i mean the tree's dying there's you could see 
you know, it's not being taken care of. Okay, Khalid, you have a question for Mr. Herbert? Yes, I just wanted to ask. So the arborist comes to check the quality of the trees, the tree, uh, the tree's life. And once that per, uh, person comes, then it will be determined if that tree needs to go, uh, be removed or not. That is correct. Yes, but that's not okay. what's happening, guys. That's okay, not but an arborist. What's happening? The, all right. The so arborists, let's, let's... the arborists have come, but they didn't do anything. You know, they trimmed it some, but it's continuing to deteriorate. Mm -hmm. So an arborist I mean, also had already responded. That's and it's not more than it's not just one tree. You know, it's this whole corner lot with these trees that are dying. Mm -hmm. So They're so really old, big trees. Uh, let me say something to which uh, I wish I knew that a couple of days ago, because all trees are under the parks department. Yes, they are responsible that, that is for correct. Us. Well, the first mm -hmm. thing they need to do, because uh, I was with the commissioner of the park department this week on Wednesday, yesterday, where we visited most of the parks in the area, and that's one of the things we spoke about. Uh, First of all, what he told us is that if a tree fell, the first thing they want to clear the street. That's the most important part. Mm -hmm. So now the question is, my question to you, are there any part of the tree still on the street? That's what determines the level of response. As far as well, you know, there's no, no, are there still, are, is still there, is the there, somebody in the neighborhood took away the branches and okay. the police put up a huge bunch of yellow tape that says crime well, which means the street it's like is clear the street is clear so that's why it is given a lower level because if it was an emergency and it blocked the street they have to come right away and take care of that yeah. so i wish you to yeah i wish uh, uh, well can i finish anytime you get something like that i have developed a very good rapport with the poor commissioner mr mayor he said yeah. calling for any question because yeah. I wish I was because yesterday me and two members of my committee, we went with him and visit most of the parks that have having problem. If I knew that, I would have brought him right there and, and he could address that situation. And also, since oh, it's covered really? by the, can I please finish? If he covers the park department, we have a direct relationship with the manager of district nine, which we mm -hmm. can call right away also to help in that situation. My understanding of the situation now, there was the tree has been cleared from the street. Whoever can determine there was no immediate danger for that tree, it right. may be necessary for that tree to be taken down. And mm -hmm. that's why they give you another time to come to look at it to make mm -hmm. a decision. So you should follow up your 311 and specifically ask them. This tree is dying. When can you get somebody to take a look at? When somebody is coming to take care of the tree to make a decision, so no further branches fell. Because at that point, it's not an emergency. Okay. Right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Mr. Hand. Herbert, I see. Oh, you did remove it. Yeah, I okay. raise it. I put it down. Okay. Uh, so. Okay, so Khalid, you, you're gonna follow up on that, right? Yes. And, um, and Nicholas, what, are you, what is your uh, suggestion for Khalid? I, I think suggestion to be reach out to Alexandra Mormon, the manager for District 8 and 9 from the Parks Department. Uh -huh. See how, what, how can she help, okay? Okay, okay thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Almanor, thank you everyone. Yes, thank you so much, Khalid. Um, okay, so in terms of uh, I, I have to, I have to go. So I have another meeting. So good night, everyone. Okay, thank you. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Uh, I see Felice Robinson has joined us. Thank you for joining our Environmental Protection Committee meeting this evening. Uh, oh. you can go ahead and introduce yourself. I mean, it's just few of us here now. Uh, Bishop Bishop is not on the meeting anymore. Khalid? Okay. Yes. Okay. No, she isn't. Okay, she's back. She's joining back. Oh, okay. I guess she fell off. I'm sorry, uh, Felice, you can go ahead. Oh, there's Bishop. Yeah. 
Hi, my name is Felice Robertson. I uh, live in the district here in Crown Heights on Washington Avenue. I sit on the community board as a member. I am involved in the union. I, um, I do so many things. I'm also um, <laughs> involved with the 71st Precinct, Community Council, Sergeant of Arms. Um, and I'm here to uh, help in the community. I'm happy to be a part of this board. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. You're welcome. Okay. I'm sorry. No, I was. I. I don't know if you. No, I'm gonna leave it right there. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, if we while we're having a discussion, you I mean you might as well. Yeah, if it's something. Okay, so. To... Right. So what? What? What happened over, uh, I guess, a couple of days ago, there was a shooting and, um, on Eastern Parkway and Franklin. Um, my husband and I just left the area. You had your money there. You had a few uh, politicians there. Um, Dante was there. And um, it should be on Channel 12 News, where we need to have more resources and really look into, you know, why are resources taken away? Because we sure gonna have too much idle time. That's what it is. Okay. Are you are you um, saying that there was it was a shooting? There was a shooting um, on Eastern two, Park two and and Franklin and Franklin. One got shot in the leg, and the other one got shot in the arm at nine o'clock in the morning. Oh my God! Right. So you know. Um, the shooting is, is, is becoming too prevalent. And it's all because, you know, really there's not enough resources to keep the mind busy, to keep our young oh, youth busy. Yeah. Hmm. So this, that's the reason why I came in at the time that I did, because I just left Franklin Avenue in Eastern Parkway, where they were discussing, you know, what kind of resolution, what can we do to resolve, you know, or reduce or get rid of the gun violence. Yeah, and as I stated, Dante was there as well. Well, so for me, for me, I think that that's an issue that is bigger than you know most of us that you know on this meeting right now, and I think it, it has to do with legislation. And if nobody is willing to do that for you know whatever the political reasons are, you know, you know, I don't see anything happening well may i add to it's that it's unfortunate but it, it 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 needed to happen many years ago based on all of the four prior incidents that took place i mean it's in the school it's in the churches it's in you know right. it's on the subway so i mean what are they waiting for um you know so it's 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 a big big I just feel that to be addressed it's 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 horrible it is. It's a lot of talk being spoken, but there's no action behind it. Well, talk. this is it. It requires legislation. If no one is willing to touch that issue, right. which is what I see, um, it's not going anywhere. Right. Because and when you I have find... when you have people like the NRA and these people, the billionaires, you know, line in the pockets of the elected officials, it you know, it becomes a a problem and you know it's like nobody wants that you know they're threading on it like with pins and needles you know so right. it's like you know it's it's something but it the discussion needs to be had you know it well, needs to be had. my thought is this yeah you know when i was in school mm -hmm. we had a lot of resources yes. we learned language we learned engineer we learned part of Poetry, we learned instruments. Mm -hmm. We learned, we learned uh, um, um, script, how to write a script. We learned finances, how to deal with a paycheck, how mm -hmm. to um, how to write a check. Um, we we dealt with um, many elements that require thinking. Okay, and not just that, but you had sports that was a part of it, football, basketball, cheerleading, boosters, mm -hmm. you had glee clubs, you know, you had with that, 
you know, you had uh, nurses that was on the premises and the social workers, you know, um, all of those that I'm, I'm mentioning right now has been removed. So, right. well, well, yeah, and they're, and they're chipping away at resources for these types of- um, Charter schools, charter issues. schools. Uh, they're chipping away at all the resources. So pretty yes. soon we won't have anything, no resources to do anything. Right, and it's right. horrible. And that's why these children, because I speak to them when I'm out here, I have my days off and I look at the children that, that are out here and I just talk to them. And they said, yeah. well, you know, they don't have any reasons to go to school. What is in school? They said, yeah. the teacher can't even identify with me. Oh, that's the other thing. They took right. away, you know, black teachers and male teachers, you know, yes. you know, role models, let's say, you know, because young men need role models. They, some of them don't even have fathers. They need you know? role models. They need mentors. Yes. It's yes. very important. And I keep push stress in that. I can tell yes. you how much I stress the mentorship very important and you know yes. all those things it's like they don't exist anymore okay so this is why it's, we it's find horrible, but i think i think there should be some type of committee um to discuss you know the uh the gun violence uh issues that you know plague the uh communities and you know the young people and see you know how you know what what we can, can be done up with it. right and that's why we were all out there you had jeffrey davis he was there yeah um, you had Farah. Mm -hmm. um so you know like i said jamani and, and a few others mm -hmm. um so you know we it could be on the news channel 12 news so we're all out there trying to find a way you yeah. know what can we do so what we what we have done um, or I should say my husband because he ran for city council. So, yeah. you know, he's really interested in the children. So we had to gather up a lot of, you know, resources from everyone. Let's talk and come, come get our minds together and see yeah. what we can come up with. Okay, because it takes us collectively. What did you say? A village? It yes, takes a village to raise a child, raise. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's so very... let's see what happens. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Bishop, I know that you deal with a lot of young people. What what input do you have? Um, yeah, you know, you know I, I didn't it's even... a scary thing. Yeah, I did not even know that there was a killing. I, yeah. I thought, um, I was asking my husband, isn't that gunshot um, a couple of nights ago? And he said, no. Mm. So, you know, I'm just like, okay. He, he said it was- I'm sorry, early. nobody died. No one died. Nobody okay, died. Good. They got shot. No one died. Okay. Yes. And, but but I did hear something and I asked and wow. I was told um, it was early 4th of July or something like that. Oh you my know? God. So um, <laughs> it, it is really uh, amazing. I just want to say that our country is in a, a state right now yes. that is... Um, not good for many people. Mm. And, and, and I want to say this um, cautiously and carefully because I don't want to throw anything at anyone. Mm -hmm. I feel like those of us that are on the, um, the, at the end of the community that wants to, to do, mm -hmm. our hands are tied because yeah. those, those who have the power are not really coming forward to do what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. So I hear Tara talking about trees that fall. She sent you a picture. She sent myself a picture and others. Mm. What do we do? Mm. I mean, there's nothing we can do other than call 311. Yes. If they don't do what they're supposed to do. What are we supposed to do? I mean, you go to work every day. I go to work every day. Everybody has go to work every day. So we don't have time to be on the phone 24 seven asking, when are you gonna come because the tree fall? Thank God no one got hurt. The most important thing is we seem to be the troubleshooter, but the ones to resolve the issue are not available. Mm -hmm. They're not available. How many times have we got complained about someone speaking in the community, making a call with no response? Mm -hmm. And I'm not just speaking to the board. I'm yes. just saying anywhere, yes. you get no response. So we are in a crisis mm -hmm. and we are trying to do the best that we can. Mm -hmm. I just want to thank 
all of us that are online even right now. I got cut off twice and sometimes there's a lagging. So I think it's my my business, you know, my technology that's not working right. So if you yeah. don't see me, it's because it's cutting me off. Oh, okay, thank you. You can't hear me because you were speaking and it was lagging all the time. Yeah. Okay, thank you, know? you for that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for so, sharing that. That means we are doing the best that we can in the environmental. That region. is all we can do. Yeah. I want I, I was hoping that we would continue where you started looking at what you're asking is our responsibility. Yeah, our and role. We did it's number important one. to know what our role is. Yeah. We did number one. And then of course, more important things became um a part of the conversation, yes. like the trees falling. Yes. Someone could have lost their life. And if it's still not proper, then, you know, properly secured, we still have to hope that no one will get seriously hurt. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. but I'm, I'm just sorry to hear about that. And I'm glad that the community came out. You know, when does it end? And, and no, one, no one knows. And, and who holds the responsibility? 12 years old, is that what you said? A 12 year old person got shot? Is that what you say, Ms. Robertson? I'm not sure of the age, I can find out, but okay. um, they were going to school, you know? Oh, and yeah, because that was, shooting. yeah, that was like nine o'clock in the morning. I mean, that's very early. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh no, I didn't hear that. What I was talking about was um, Memorial Day the evening, like at 10, 11 o'clock at night, and you're hearing these sounds, and I thought they were gunshots. Mm. But somebody said they okay, were. Okay, then that's something else. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's something else then, yeah. Yeah. So they have pictures of the two shooters, and they have the posted the on Franklin and um, Eastern Parkway, and, um, you know, they have pictures of them. You know, cameras are all over the place now. <laughs> But the thing about it is you said that there were quite a few uh, elected uh, officials yes, on the site. But what are they saying? I mean, they're there. What are they saying? Um, you know. What are they what saying? What are they want, doing? Want to say, right, right. Not there what they're saying. What are they doing? Right, right. Wait, is that they my union action. sister? Is that my union sister, DC 37? My union DC 37 sister. It sounds like her. Okay. But right, because you said the right thing. What are they saying? You, no, what are they gonna do? You can talk, but what are you gonna do? What are right. you gonna what have you stated? This is what I'm gonna implement, this is what I'm going to put for, you know, what you know, Sarah was the only one that said what she was gonna do, legislation wise. Okay. And I didn't hear anyone else saying anything. But what so we should not have going on. So there is a need for a discussion with all of them. They represent yes. us. They yes. work for us. So I mean, there's yeah. a there's a need for a discussion with all of them, and you know that should be you know a request from you know yes. C nine to um have a meeting to discuss these issues. I mean, you know so who that, holds the power. You know who really holds the power. Parents. Who? Parents. Parents, if the parents come out and force, you know that's powerful by itself. Parents, Clarence. Pa no, I parents. think she's saying parents. Oh, the parents. Parents, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, especially the two children that got shot. If those parents would have came out and spoke, that's powerful by itself too. Well, that is that is true because you know. If you, you know, if you, you come out and you speak and say what, you know, your fee, your feelings are at that time, you know, right. and, you know, moving forward, it's very important, you know, because you, you, you really don't know what, what's going to come out of it because each time something happens and it's a child or, you know, it's a school, a church or whatever, we say not again, you know, but right happening right so now 
here we have and we're having something on Saturday at the McNair Park. Yeah, so I'm happy that I ran into some of the officers at the 71st precinct that's okay. going to be there. Okay? okay. So I'm just saying that, you know, when we have events, I pray that nothing happens. Exactly. That is correct. That is so true. So, so it means that it means that when we have events, we need to have, you know, uh, police presence, police department present, the police yes. presence. Yes. Whether it's a community yes. press, com, com, community police or, you know, we need them there because we don't know, you know, that's correct. We don't know. So they're going to so, be there. So, you know, they're going to be there. Thank goodness. Okay, good. Sheesh. That's good. <laughs> Oh my God, I tell you. <laughs> ah, so I guess that's something that we need to bring up to the um, to the board, the executive, you know, committee and- Dante see. was there. Dante oh, Dante was there? Was there? Yeah. Oh, okay, there. so yeah. So hopefully he can pass that information on and, you know, we can have yeah. a discussion on that because it's very important when it's hidden your, when it's hidden home, as they would say, you know, you, yes. Yeah. So thank you for sharing that information, Felice. And, you know, oh, you're welcome. Uh, does anyone else have, I mean, Bishop, I know it's just you and I um, at, on the committee now. Um, Teresa said she had a meeting, another meeting. So uh, I'm not sure how much more, you know, we should talk about. I mean, we, we you know, pretty much. Uh, spoke to the, I don't know if you, you read the agenda, Bishop, with the um, role of the uh, committees. And I think, it, as I said, it should be where each and every committee that's on the board, you know, have an idea or sense as to what their role entail, you know, in terms of, you know, what to look out for, or what, you know, falls under their, you know, jurisdiction to advocate on behalf of the community, I think is very important. And um, to have that discussion so that, you know, we have a census to, if something should come up, we know, okay, well, as you know, if, if there's a health committee or if it, if it has to do with health, you know, the environment, you know, we know that as Mr. Herbert said, it should be, you know, like a subcommittee um, dis discuss, you know, that issue. Um, Correct. I think that was a good, that was a good um, idea. Uh, Mr. Herbert, I see your hand is up. Yes, so uh, the subcommittee, it's a good idea. I think that what we have here, as far as the roles of the committee, uh, they're yeah. very good. Uh, but like I said, I just see that there's opportunities there for a cross-function committee to handle items that yes. require a, a look from different committee members. Right. All right. Um, and I, that would be great. And I totally agree with that because- Me yeah. too. Yeah, so. Okay. And as far as just going back, there were two children that were shot, teenagers. One was 16-year-old girl, 17-year-old boy. Oh uh, my God. Shots to their legs, uh, but they're they're okay. I just read wow. Um, so this is the same incident on Franklin. Yes. Okay. Yes, right, okay. Right by the deli, uh, across from the Dunkin' Donuts up there. Oh wow! All right. Um, Fra on Franklin. Th yeah, Franklin and Eastern Parkway. And Eastern Parkway, yeah. Wow. So the the issue here, I mean, I have mentored a number of teens and young young ones over the years. And what happens that you need mentors in order to show them, expose them to different things. And that is the problem exactly. that I see. They're not exposed yeah. to much. They only know within their small little world and nothing else. Yes. So like what myself and a couple others did years ago, we would take kids to the stock exchange. We would take mm -hmm. them to the trade center. I, I worked for Con Edison. I took them and... I showed them a substation. I showed them things that they would not necessarily see. Mm -hmm. right? And that's how you spark the interest. Yes. Right? They just need to be exposed. And the biggest concern and a problem that I have seen 
is that there is limited exposure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what they need. Totally agree because I was, as, as I mentioned to uh, Felice a few minutes ago, you know, the mentorship is not there. Those things that are so important, you exactly. know, for these young people. It's like on, you know, when you're doing the SAT, for example, okay, you have the, 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 the kids, the white kids, they are exposed mm -hmm. to all these things at an early age. Right. So when you sit in a, a room to take these exams, if you do not have the proper practice, you don't know right. what these things are when you look at this test, this exam. Correct. And it so, starts with the parents. Yes. We can show, do whatever we want, but if the parents reward bad behavior, yes. it's going to be difficult in order to make the change. That right? is but so true. Mentorship is, mm -hmm. is very important. I had a mentor. Um, I mentored a total of 17 kids altogether. They all graduated from college. I basically kept in touch with them and put their feet to the fire and that's what they need and they want to learn and they want to be exposed to different things mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. is the key exposure that is that is so true it's so true i told totally you I, I agree with all of you but these things that you're mentioning has been removed and this is what we're speaking on okay? so there are, there are corporations because my husband he used to do the I'm sorry, Felice, go ahead. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I was saying that he used to be in the PAL, P-A-L, mm -hmm. PAL program. Oh, yeah, yeah. He would, get in, yeah. he would get a hold of these children and play baseball, you right. know. Hey, I mean, I, I hear you. That, too, was gone. That was with the police department. Yeah, okay, the 71st so, Precinct had that program there. Yeah, that's where Yeah, I started. remember them being in the park right here. Mm-hmm. In so, the so, summertime, so, yeah. So some of the things are you know, corporations, they have these programs, you know, they, they, they do. And they are willing to bring kids in in order to show them what they do because they are looking to bring on new employees, these kids to run companies. Right? And many companies have this. Black, uh, you know, out Wall Street, you, you have uh, um, Blackstone and... Uh, Couple others out there. Con Edison does it. Well, they do it with inside there. Um, Brooklyn Union, not Brooklyn Union Gas. Damn, I'm dating myself. National Grid. <laughs> all right. Yeah. They have similar programs. PSE and G. Uh, the programs are out there. Yeah, the programs. It's just that people there. don't know. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Herbert, we are going to task you with getting some programs to submit to the. Youth committee. Youth committee. This is an idea of a course committee work we can do. So that we can engage some of the kids in the community. Okay. Right? Roger that. Yeah, Consider thank that you done. so much. Yeah. Nice. Thank you for bringing that information up. Yeah. Thank you so much. And then, Bishop, you have youths that you're dealing with. So, you know, we can have that, you know, we can have that discussion with the uh, youth committee. Of course. Um, and uh, of course. see how far we can take that. That's a good idea. Like I say, mentoring is so important, you know. And, Very. you know, I remember, you know, back in the day when you had people taking you, literally taking you by the hand and, you know, showing you. And it's, it's not, it's just not there. Yeah, our country's in crisis. Yes, yeah, so... That's a good idea, and I really appreciate, you know. Yes, I think so. Too. And, you know, yeah. So does anyone else have any additional input? I just think to put, um, to tap on to what Mr. Herbert said, that a subcommittee would allow us to have meetings, effective meetings, yes. to address issues, while the subcommittee can look at what we can attend to right now and decide, does it go to another um, yeah. committee or yes. what should happen with it? Because mm -hmm. Debbie, um, and you're a fantastic leader. I, I just you. know that it's a lot on your plate when you come for a meeting and you're being inundated with so many other subject matters that you are not even 
aware of. So I think a subcommittee will work well, yeah. extremely well. I think it's a good idea to bring to the executive, you know, committee. Yes, um, yes. And Mr. Almano, you're on that committee, so from our mouth to your ear, so. Yes, well, I've been thinking of the same idea. For example, one of my suggestions would be certain committee that really have close function to each other. Yes. So they could be meeting on the same day. Yeah. On that same day, if let's say the two committee are meeting together, so you will mm -hmm. have one meeting. Yes. So I'm, I'm extremely interested in the course, pollination course working yes. for the committee. So this is something I've been thinking about. I really, mm -hmm. uh, I would say, endorse the idea, Mr. Herbert is putting through. I think it's a very great yes. idea. And I think we're going to get a lot more done. Certain situations require more than one area of expertise, more than one area of concern. Yes. And then yes. let's say, for example, I'm suggesting like the Parks Recreation and Culture Committee meet at the same time with the Education Committee. Mm -hmm. I have a few initiatives for, for parks in the parks in fact that involve students for the community and the botanical that involve students. So that way we could both work. So we, and also that would help to have more effective meeting like the Bishop said uh, and get a lot more done. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm all about, if you know me, Debbie know me from previous, I'm all about <laughs> doing projects. I'm yes. project-oriented and establish things that would stay there for a long time. Okay. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for that input. Any additional? I you, Debbie. I'm sorry? I want to go with you in the suitcase. Okay. <laughs> I need Let's a break. Let's go. <laughs> Or, yeah. or Mr. Erbert, I could be with you in Georgia. Come on down. <laughs> in Georgia, it's crazy. He's, he's on. He's been on the road too long. Oh, I'm always, I'm always, I'm always on the go. Yeah. Always see people to do. That there you go. There you go. Yeah. That, that, the last that's what happens when you have money. You can be <laughs> in New York or you can be in Georgia. It's, it's known as when you have time. Time. Oh, oh, that's well, time, yeah. That's what time. he said. That's he said time. time. Uh, okay. Time. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought it was M O N E Y, but it's T I M E. Got yeah, it. Time. Yeah. <laughs> it is time. I, I have it. <laughs> okay. Time. So, are there any additional questions, concerns before we adjourn? I think you know we had a good discussion. I think so. so. And. Yeah. Um, Yes, go ahead, Mr. Herbert. All right, so I just have one item. And yes. it's, it's with these abandoned cars that are parked all over the place. They, wow. they, drive, they drive me insane. I think uh, you mentioned that before at one of our meetings too, yeah. Right, so what I did since that last meeting, I, I walked the equivalent of a 10 block radius from my mm -hmm. house around. And mm -hmm. I came up with 30, what, 37 vehicles that were either abandoned, uh, you know, um, phony registrations, dilapidated, et cetera. So that day I took all that information. I submitted 31 311 tickets. Wow. That's how much of a that's how, that's how much of a pain these things are to me. And out of the 31, uh, you know, I of course I got a call from sanitation because mm -hmm. You know, why did he get, why did they submit all these? So I met him out there in the street and basically I heard nothing but a, a lot of excuses on why he can't do his job and why he can't remove the vehicles and so forth based hmm. on the age, how it looks and everything. So to make a long story short, we managed to get rid of four out of the 31. Hmm. All right. So I, I guess now at this point, and I may need uh, either Dante or Khalid's help on this. As far as, I, I believe that there is a neighborhood communications officer at the 71st precinct, because there's one vehicle that's in particular that I want to have a discussion about, because it was bounced back and forth three times between sanitation and police. And- And you're absolutely I, right. I don't mean to cut, you, cut into you, but you're right. The 71st precinct, they do handle those uh, abandoned cars. I'm here to tell you that, okay? Oh, they do handle them? Yeah. Yes, they do. They get yeah. rid of them or? Excuse no. me. Are they? You, Hello? Uh, 
Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Uh, Mr. Herbert, in terms of a vehicle, you could send an email to the board office and it could be followed up on. All 31? Oh, yes. Yeah. So any, yeah, the rule is anything you send to 311, you send a copy to the board automatically. You should make that yeah. as a habit. So that way, Dante, the district manager, could call whoever mm -hmm. agency commissioner at that level say, this is a situation in our community board. Well, do you know about it? What can you do about it? Always send a copy of your 311 to the mm -hmm. community board. Always. Yeah. And that well, will this be is true. I'm just okay. confirming that the 71st precinct, they do handle this. So what you're saying, give it to the board, is absolutely right. But 71 precinct, they do handle those abandoned calls. Okay, great. That's good right. to hear. So I will, I will send that, that email over to the district office. What? And I have no problem going to the police precinct myself, have a conversation with the NCO regarding this concern or anybody else. Okay. I am here to help. Okay, another suggestion, if we have, because I had a situation right in front of my house like that. There was a such car in front of my house for almost two weeks. We called 311. It took almost three weeks for the police to show up. And that had one of those paper plates. Mm -hmm. All that it came and they took the paper plates away. And, mm. and within a week, that person showed up and moved the car. <laughs> So wow. <laughs> I, this is not something, but I think approaching the community the NCO. And also, this is something we may want to bring up to the elected also. Yeah, I, I think the city council, some of the, the laws that I've read, mm -hmm. they have to be changed because there are too many uh, outs, I should say, with regards to handing things over to a different organization or group. Uh, it's, no one really takes ownership in order to get rid of these vehicles. Yeah, well, they, bounce, they bounce, they bounce, yeah. bounce the information back and forth. Yes. So, yeah. okay, I will send the information over. Thank you. Okay, thank you for that information, Mr. Almona and Felice. And uh, if there is no further uh, information or concerns. Uh, I'm going to move to adjourn the meeting. Second. If I'm not, I don't know if I can second, but. Yes, you <laughs> could. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I confirm. <laughs> thank you. Yes. So thanks everyone for joining the meeting. And um, I'm hoping that, you know, come September, we can. Um, you know, do some good things for, you know, the community. And hopefully we can make some changes, some much needed changes, you know, yeah. in the things that's happening. And I think, think we will, Debbie. Yeah. I absolutely it's very important because I don't, I can't see it getting no worse than it is already. Yes. So, yeah. So that's, will. My, that's my goal. We, and, are we are great members. Um, even right here now that are yes, absolutely. giving us the, the kind of support that we need. Yes. And that our community important. needs. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just so, want to thank everyone. And last year we were there together, Debbie. Yes, we that were, is true. We were at the park. I brought my students. Yes. You know, and that we is, hang yeah. out. Yes, if things we turn were, out yeah. and I can, I'll call you back to let you know, yes, I will be there. But okay. now... You know, young people and suicide is what's happening, and it's, yeah, it's yeah, bad. We don't, we don't need that. Oh it's God. bad. It's bad. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Have yeah. a great evening. Thank yes. You, thank you, everyone. And thank have you. A good evening. Bye, everyone. Okay. okay. Thank you for thank your time. You. Have, have a great night. night. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, Mr. Herbert, stay safe. Yes, I most certainly will. Okay. Thank you.